what was it like to be the only woman at Princeton? Yes, that was very interesting. <laughs> a very interesting experience. I, I, well, you, when they interviewed me, they said, you know, one of the reasons you can't come here is that there are no facilities for women. Now, I don't know if you can appreciate that. Because even, I understood immediately. I said, I don't know what I said was, I thought to myself, you, can you imagine that? Every secretary, every staff, all of the technicians, all of those people were women. That's all, and they had to go to the bathroom someplace, you know. And admittedly, there were maybe one or two females in the faculty, you know, maybe. But it was really a male bastion, you know. But they had the nerve to say, well, the reason they couldn't take me on as a student <laughs> is because they had no bathrooms for women. So I said, and I knew that was coming, so I said, well, that's okay, I have excellent self-control, which was a lie, of course, <laughs> it, sort of, it was a lie, and also it was a way of giving them the dig, because, I mean, how stupid did they think I was, I, I didn't know, where did all these women go, in the garden? You know? <laughs>